What's up, runners? My name is Veronica. I'll be your coach today. Welcome to Ibex Running. Today, we're going to do a five-minute warm-up, right? So really quick, only five minutes, but what this is great to do is something right before you do all those other training workouts, those 20-minute workouts, 30-minute workouts, before you go for a run, it's really important that we activate those leg muscles, we get our core engaged, we warm up the body and get it ready to do that workout so that you can go hard. So today, we're going to show you what to do for those five-minute warm-up. We're going to start with a walk here for about 30 seconds, anywhere in that 2.5 to 4.0 range. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's get those legs moving here. Excellent. Nice deep breath in, slow exhale. I like to take this time in a warm up to get myself mentally ready and set for the workout that I'm going to do, right? Start connecting the mind and the body. Start feeling out the body, the muscles, the legs, everything. Start bringing it all together. We're gonna move into a light jog, anywhere from that 4.5 to 6.5 range. Here we go. In three, two, one. Hit that speed up a little bit here. Now, in our warm-up, we're going to do a couple different exercises that are going to stretch the muscle out, but also actively moving. It's called dynamic stretching. So when we do that, I want you to bring that speed down a little bit on that treadmill at a speed that you feel comfortable. I'm going to give you a range, but if you want to go lower than that, feel free to do that. Whatever makes you feel comfortable with those exercises. The most important thing is that you're warming that body up. All right. Take some nice deep breaths in. You got one more minute here in this jog before we go into that next exercise. There we go. Check that form, right? Every time you exhale, I want you to contract those ribs, tighten up that core, right? Start activating those muscles so that it gives you a nice solid base when you're running. Loosen up those arms and those shoulders. Make sure you're pushing lightly through that treadmill. We're not slapping the ground. There we go, runners. Excellent. For your first move, your speed is going to be anywhere from that 3.5 to 5.5 range. Remember I said, feel free to take it down if you need to. Good. Right here, you got 15 seconds, and then we're going to go into our butt kicks. Yeah, here we go. Last 10 seconds here of this jog. Excellent. We got five, four, three, two, one, excellent. If you want to take that speed down, feel free to take that speed down. But I want you to start bringing those heels all the way up. You're going to start feeling it in your hamstrings, right in the back of your thigh. That's perfect. And then you're going to move right into high knees in three, two, one. So start picking those knees up. Good. Here I want you to squeeze your core, right? Try not to lean back, slight lean forward, and use those arms. Excellent. We're going to bring the speed down now. Anywhere from 0.5 to 1.5. Three, two, one. Take it down. Good. And we're going to do a lunge stretch. So I want you to take a step forward. Feel that stretch in the back. Excellent. Nice and slow. Find your balance. Push your heel back. Excellent. Nice deep breath in. Right? When we're running, we're propelling off of that toe, off of the ball of our foot, and you're really working that calf. So give me that stretch behind. There we go, nice job. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Push that heel down as far back as you can. Feel the separation in the legs. Excellent. You got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go into knee pulls. So you're gonna drive your knee into your chest here. Five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Bring that knee up. Pull, take a couple steps. Knee up. Pull, take a couple steps. Good. Whatever makes you feel comfortable on that treadmill. As we bring that knee up, right, I want you to feel that in that hamstring again, that high hamstring right under the glute. Loosen that up, right? We know all the power from our running goes from our hips to that glute. Excellent. And we're going to finish this off with just another one-minute jog here. That 4.5 to 6.5. Three, two, one. Here we go. Excellent. Now that those muscles have loosened up a little bit, this one-minute jog should feel a little bit better than that first one-minute jog that we did. Excellent. You might start to feel a little bit lighter, right? Lifting your body up. Those legs are moving a little bit smoother. 
That's perfect. That's exactly what we want to prepare ourselves to go into our workout. There we go. You got 30 more seconds here. Excellent job. Swing those arms. You're swinging from those shoulders, right? Loosen up that upper body as well because we know our upper body helps us with our running. Whatever upper body does, lower body follows. 15 more seconds here. Excellent job, Ibex. Here we go. You got five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Take it off. And that's it. That's your five-minute warm-up, Ibex runners. Feel free to do this before any workout that you do with us. Like I said, it's really important to prepare those muscles, get that body ready so that you can get the most out of each workout. All right, I'll see you on that workout.